Macari versus eBay, eBay versus Macari, Funko Pop mystery boxes. <laughs> Well, hey guys, welcome back. Hope everybody is having a wonderful day, and I do appreciate you dropping by to spend a little time with uh, me. Um, just want to say welcome back to everybody, and if you're new here, I hope to earn your subscription by the end of this video. We have got a great video today, guys. Um, I was in the live the other night doing my 10K appreciation giveaway, and I polled everybody on what kind of video they wanted to see today. And surprising enough, um, I had a choice between my eBay and Macari, and everybody was jumping all over the idea of me doing an eBay versus Macari. Believe the gentleman who suggested it was Nick, so thank you. And we have an eBay versus Macari mystery box battle. So Beer to Pop's done it again so you don't have to, and let's take a look and see what kind of stuff we get out of some of these boxes. We have got $250 worth of mystery boxes. 125 eBay, 125 Macari. We're going to see which one wins. It's been a lot of work to get all these boxes together, but we're going to do a versus video on these for the first time here on Beer to Pop's channel. So before we get started, we've got a few important things we got to take care of. Last week, hashtag Stewart. You got a chance to win the 10-inch roller skating Stewart. Now, guys, right here, S-T-U-A-R-T is how Stewart the Minion's name is spelled. So I know there was a little bit of uh, questioning on that, but that is Stewart the Minion's name. So we are going to go ahead and cut over to me picking the winner and I'll be right back. So hey guys, I uh, hope you're enjoying today's video. It's going to be a great one. Um, this is the drawing for the prize for the roller skating Stewart uh, 10 inch minion. So we're going to see how many comments we got and um, who wins. So let's see. 194 unique comments with the correct hashtag. We have filtered duplicate users. And we filtered based on the Pacific test, text. This is the way that Stuart the Minion's name is spelled. And let's see who the winner is. Move that up a little. Michelle Nettleton. Congratulations. Thank you. Please contact me at beardofpop at gmail.com or hit me up on Instagram and I will uh, send over your prize. Congratulations on the win, and everybody make sure to enter today's video's giveaway. But for now, let's get back to that video. Well, welcome back and congratulations to the winner. Guys, keep entering to keep winning. This week we've got another amazing one. Because of the popularity of these pops and the way they sell out, I have got an extra Pyra from Around the World collection with the pop pin. Funko Shop exclusives. This is number six in the collection from India. Amazing pop. So guys, for your chance to win this on next Monday's video, down below hashtag we are the world. And that's going to get you entered to win this on next Monday's video. An amazing pop. Don't forget, comment down below. Let me know what you think of this video and hashtag we are the world. So guys, as we're going to get started today, I got one thing I've got to open before we get to this mystery box battle. One of my good friends for over a year now, Chris from Lumberjack Pops, I'm going to link him down below. He does some amazing lives, amazing giveaways, great, great dude from Canada. He had a grail, a Funko Pop grail pop that I needed for my collection and gave me an amazing deal on it. Plus, he said he included something extra in the box, and I don't have any clue what that is. But the what's extra in the box is what's really, really uh, getting me excited about opening this, because I already know the other part that I bought. And it is an amazing grail, guys. All right, so let's get in here. I see that he packed this really well. I've got a really good card in here. Card, I don't know what it is. Let's see. A letter. All right, 
So, the first thing we got is one of his little Lumberjack Media Minute stickers. One of the segments he does on his show, which is absolutely amazing and original. And one of his Lumberjack Pop stickers. I don't think I have either of these stickers. Um, I do have his sticker, but he's had a few and he finally uh, got some new ones made and had a reason to send them over. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on the legendary sticker desk here. I'm going to have to get another desk here soon. These are some nice stickers, Chris. I really like them, man. I'm going to get both of these on here because I don't have either of them yet. All right. We have put those on there right by Wink. That's a fitting place. And let's read his letter. Hey, brother, I hope this box made it out safely, and I have added a couple of my newer stickers. Please enjoy your new grail. I know it's found a good home. Also, the extra item I had custom made. I thought you would really like and appreciate. Yeah, dude, I'll appreciate anything, bro. That's awesome, man. Awesome. I don't need any credit for these items. The deal on the pop was for a friend, and the other gift was just a gift from one friend to another. I do hope you enjoy your new grails. I wish you the best of luck and success with your channel, and the best health and happiness to you and your family. Cheers from your brother from the North, Chris. Dude, me and Chris are like so, so good friends. He is such a awesome dude. And um, I, I know that he didn't want or need a shout out for this. We send stuff back and forth to each other all the time. But there's a huge grail in here. I wanted a chance to speak highly of him and send you guys over to check him out and say hi. And um, let's see what we got. So I'm assuming that the grail pop is in here. And whatever this is, is the custom made item. So, oh. Uh, I'm going to be super excited about whatever, what is this? <laughs> oh, dude. Wow. Check this out. 2020 by AR. Look at that. It's an original Rick and Morty watercolor. That is absolutely amazing. It's got Mr. Poopy Butthole, Rick, and Morty. Looks like they're all happy sitting on the couch watching TV or a good movie. That is amazing, dude. That is awesome, Chris. I really love that. That's a more of a grail to me than the grail I bought, dude. I'm definitely, it looks like an 11 by 17, but I am going to measure this out and I am legitimately going to get a frame for it this afternoon. We'll get this thing flattened out. Oh man, I'm gonna put it over here in a safe place. Dude, Chris, thank you so much, my brother. I appreciate that so much. He's such a nice guy. I mean, he does a great job with his channel. Him and his buddy Sam do a great Funkos After Dark on Thursday nights. Um, God, we go back probably to last June or July, back when he was Parsy Man's Funko Pops, and we gave him a hard enough time to change his name to Lumberjack, which does suit him because he does look like a Lumberjack, but so do I, so, you know, I could be Lumberjack Pops too. <laughs> so guys, here it is. This is a grail I've needed for a while since I got the first one and a set that I've been recently building. And when Chris hit me up and gave me a great deal on this as a friend, it was just amazing. And we're, we're not gonna discuss prices or what he got it for, any of that, but it was an amazing, and I mean, even though I paid for it, I could almost call it a gift. So Chris, once again, thank you, dude. Boom, Kurt Hammett as Frankenstein from the Monsters Collection. I do have the Swamp Thing one, but I did not have this one. This is an exclusive 1,008 piece, and it's absolutely amazing. Exactly the pop I needed to add to my collection of the monsters that I've been collecting. And uh, this one is just absolutely amazing. I'm so excited about this one. I mean, check out the back of that and the front. Oh, Chris, thank you so much, man. I'll have to uh, definitely send you a picture when he's in his new home and I rearrange everything. 
So guys, remember, down below, hashtag we are the world. Boom. And that'll enter you to win this on next Monday's video. So let's get to what everybody wants to see. We've got an epic battle for the ages. Funko Pop Mystery Boxes, Macari versus eBay. This is going to be crazy. I've never done this. It takes a lot longer to get mystery boxes off Macari than it does off eBay because I don't think you're technically allowed to be selling them on Macari. So sometimes they're up and sometimes they're gone. Sometimes they're even listed as other items. So for that that reason, we'll... Um, Took me, God, I don't know, maybe a month to get some of these boxes. So, let's start out with the first one. We have got a $25 Macari mystery box right here. There's no guarantee. The box was $25. Bucks. We don't ever factor in shipping over here. Just the cost of the box. Got this taped label on the front of it. Got to move that away. So I don't know, you know, pretty much there could be one pop, there could be two pops, there could be exclusives, there could be a grail. There's one pop. You know, in uh this is how it came, so you can see it's in a hot topic bag. <laughs> so just just looking at this, you already know how it's gonna go. <laughs> so alright. Well, I mean, hey, it's in there with the bags. And it's wrapped up like this. So that's, I mean, this is better than most. I mean, at least they're going to give us the impression we're going to get something good. I mean, I'd love to hit a grail or at least hit a pop worth 25 out of these. I've done good in the past, but this one is actually pretty well protected. It came in a larger box. You could fit two pops in. It came with bags protecting it and it came wrapped in bubble wrap and it came in a sorter and that sorter is taped so i mean hey i give you all the credit in the world for that and what i pulled was boom debbie harry 2019 fall convention limited edition not a hundred it's um Pop Rocks? Hmm. Honestly, guys, not 100% sure of that. Let me know down in the comments below. So this was my first pull for my first $25 Macari Mystery Box. So it's definitely an exclusive. She's in good shape. There was no guarantees on the box. So we definitely got something better than maybe $5. We'll see. So the next one we got is right here, shipped like I'd expect it to be shipped. This is a $25 eBay Funko Pop Mystery Box. So I got no clue what's in here. You know, these eBay boxes are very sketchy. Um, they usually just show a picture of a wall of pops and say you're guaranteed one of these. And then barely where you can make it out, there might be a few good ones. So this one had some good ones for that you could get i think there was a possibility of getting up to like a hundred dollar pop but you were at least guaranteed a uh, common I, think I wrote it on here you were guaranteed a grail or uh, a common or an exclusive so i mean <laughs> pretty much the gambit of it so macari 25 dollar mystery box ebay 25 dollar mystery box Let's see which one turned out better. We have, boom. Oh, it's from Naruto. And it's Toby. Not really sure about this one at all. Do not watch Naruto. Have never actually had this one. So I'm not sure if this is one of those that's worth something or I just got something of a common price. But he does have an easily pronounceable name, Toby. You can see the rest of the set on the back. And he is kind of cool. Kind of fits with the month of October because his head's kind of orange like a pumpkin. But you guys who watch Naruto down below, leave me a comment and let me know what's up with Toby. Why does he look like that? What's his story? Because I really do like to learn about him. And um, if it's a good anime for me to try out, let me know. Because I'll definitely try it out. I've been trying out quite a few that you guys have uh, 
been recommending. Um, I tried that sword art online and it was very weird. A lot of you had said it was weird. Some of you said it might be good. I'm going to give a few more episodes, but it's kind of weird. <laughs> so, eBay, Macari, we got Macari Pop, we got eBay Pop. Guys, let me know. Box one, $25 each. Who won? eBay or Macari? All right. So let's get on to the big ones, guys. We got two here. We got two $100 boxes. So this right here is a $100 Funko Pop mystery box from eBay. I have no clue what's going to be in it. I mean, it legitimately said you could get one to 10 pops. You were guaranteed at least $80 and it was a hundred bucks shipped. So we'll see. I figure if I would have bought an $80 mystery box, maybe shipping would have been like $15. So, uh, and we'll see. This is a, a very interesting packing job right here. Never quite seen anything like it. it says mystery box. And <clears throat> it has six pops in it. And they look to have uh, pricing on them. We will definitely go by the pricing on the box. The first one is, boom, Drax, Guardians of the Galaxy. That is from the Cyber Monday bundle from last year uh, from uh, Funko, or earlier at the beginning of the year. Um, definitely not the most popular bundle they had, but that's definitely a cool pop to get. And at the time of this box, this was worth $17. So as I said, guys, to be fair, if they put prices on them, and this box maybe has been here a month or so, we're going to go with the prices on the box because that's how they did the value when they packed it. And we want to be completely fair on the eBay versus Macari Battle. The next one I got, oh, it's a pretty cool one. It's Louie from Tailspin, and it's actually the Chase version. This is pretty sweet. Check that one out. And that one says that it was worth $15. Alright, so the next one we got. Oh no, I don't collect these, but this is a pretty cool one. This is Hopper in the Biohazard suit. Hot Topic exclusive. This looks like it's from the first wave of the uh, Stranger Thing Pops. You can see the uh, guys on the back there. It's pretty cool. And it's Hopper. And that's pretty cool in the Biohazard suit. And that one had a value of, looks like $11. So that's pretty cool. All right, the next one is... Oh, it's Johnny Rico from Starship Troopers. And that's the uh, Spring Convention Limited Edition one. And that's definitely a cool one. I've never seen that one before. Didn't pick it up. Definitely has some cool uh, artwork on the back, as well as you can see the spatter on the uh, case. And uh, that one was worth $11 as well. Huh. It's a lot lower than I thought. So the next one we got in here is, <laughs> I've actually had this one before. This is a pretty cool one. Commando Claptrap, game to stop exclusive from Borderlands. And this, the first game, the first uh, edition of this game, I did play a little bit with some of my friends uh, online. So I do like this game and do know about this game. Claptrap is a pretty cool character. And this is Commando Claptrap. And he is definitely a cool pop, and his value is 10 bucks. All right. And last, but finally not least, the last one in here in a pop protector that does not actually seem to have a price on it. Huh. 
So this is definitely a good one. This is from Adventure Time, and that's JMO, Jake as BMO. So I guess it's JMO as BMO. You can see the rest of the set back there. This one leaves me uh, wondering that there might be a exclusive sticker that should be on here that's not on here since it isn't part of the base set. You guys let me know down below. This does not have a price on it, so we're going to have to go by today's pricing. So that'll pop up in the corner of my screen, and that's definitely a sweet pop. I do have some of the Adventure Time ones, so that'll be cool to add to the collection. So guys, keep that in mind. That is the eBay $100 Funko Pop Mystery Box. Now we have the Challenger. The smaller five pop per box, $100 Macari Mystery Box with a $60 guarantee. So you're guaranteed at least $60. So since it had free shipping, you figure you minus 10, so you're really gambling maybe $30 for this box. So, I don't know. We'll see. So, eBay versus Macari. Great idea, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, let me know down below. Give me your ideas always on videos and what kind of videos you'd like to see. And if you see some of the videos that I already do, would you like to see more versus videos? Would you like to just see some straight eBay ones? I'm going to have some of those coming up like always. But this was a cool idea, and you guys are the ones who wanted it, and you watch. So if there's stuff you want to see, make sure, comment down below. Join the like squad and give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. And also, click that notification bell and turn all notifications on so you're always notified of all my videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 9 a.m., and I do spontaneous lives, and sometimes you get bonus videos. So it's well worth it, guys. All right, so we have got five pops in this box, and we'll go in here and pull the first one. Boom. Bo Peep from Toy Story 5, uh, Toy Story 4. Sorry, I was a little jumbled. You kind of know what's gonna happen when this happens, so. There we go. No price on this pop here. Uh, the next one is... Boom. Seth. From Superbad? Huh. I have never had a Superbad pop. That is cool. I know, everybody. It's a people pop, but I do like Superbad, and that's a sweet pop. And I don't know if that holds any value or not, but that's definitely an awesome pop to pull out of a Macari mystery box, especially following it up to uh, Bo Peep. <laughs> the next one we got is, boom. Oh, it's uh, Goose, Goose the Cat from, uh, that's the uh, Captain Marvel box lunch flocked. They did come out with a lot of these, the Goose Flurkin and the Chase and the Glow in the Dark that didn't really glow in the dark except for a box. You can see the rest of the uh, stuff on the back there. But this is definitely a cool one and a nice one to pull that's not just a common, you know? All right. The next one is, boom. Oh, Hawk Girl. This is from the DC Bombshells line of pops. Um, I'm absolutely not a collector of this line and just not into these. Um, this is definitely a cool pop, but if I remember correctly, I don't believe any of these really hold much of a value. So we'll see how it does in the ultimate battle. $100 versus $100. eBay Funko Pop Mystery Box. Macari Funko Pop Mystery Box. Who did it better? All right. The last one we got in this eBay Funko Pop Mystery Box is, well, in this Macari Funko Pop Mystery Box, excuse me. Boom. Raj Kuthapaldi from The Big Bang Theory. This is another summer convention exclusive. Uh, he dressed up as Aquaman. And this is definitely a cool one. Um, it's an exclusive, so at least I'm not pulling all commons. But that's definitely a pretty cool box, guys. So how did we do? 
Macari versus eBay, eBay versus Macari, Funko Pop mystery boxes, $200 worth. We had some great unboxing therapy today. Love doing this. Hope you guys enjoy doing this. Please, down below, remember, for the prize on the next Monday's video, for Pyra from India, pop the world collection. Hashtag down below, we are the world. That'll enter you to win. Hopefully by now, I've earned your subscription. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed this fire Hot Wheels shirt. I really got excited about it. So guys, until next time, love y'all, love one another, beer to pop, out.